Hello, Mr. Nigan here. So we're back in The Sims 1. So we test all the expansion packs and such. It's based on, uh, I believe it's The Sims Complete Edition, released in 2005. We're gonna check this fa family again, F7 family good. I did a video in 2021 with this family, where I didn't speak and used the original resolution of the game. Then I've done two videos where I had a message that I wanted to spread. Uh, I have no idea if it will reach anyone, but I did it because I want the widescreen patcher in... Uh, uh, this is using the widescreen patcher, but I'm using the whole file, which causes the game to have graphical errors. If I use the exe created by the widescreen patcher, because when you patch the original exe with the widescreen patcher, a patch by fans, then you'll get much better graphics, like seen here, but it will create a new .exe file, and that .exe file Unfortunately, they have replaced this zooming in level with another zoom out level, so we can zoom out even more than this, but uh, in th at the cost of this zoom in level, so we can only zoom in this much. This one is gone and replaced with another zoom out level. So I did some videos where I pointed this out because I would like uh, to play the game <coughs> with the widescreen patcher applied to the, to the X of the game. But where this zoom in feature is kept, and the other zoom out one, the third one, after this one, it, it is replaced with the, the old zoom in because <coughs> I, I just prefer playing with zoomed in view where I can view everyone up close and such. So I did two videos where I showed the, the issue. In the first video, I showed the, the new text file that was created by the widescreen patcher, where we could only zoom in this much at maximum. Then I did one like this, where we have these graphics. Um, I mean this view and everything, but as we see, there are some graphical errors and using the old, that is fine. Okay, so I was just gonna check the family members. So we have Cloud Strife, main character of Final Fantasy VII. <coughs> and Final Fantasy VII Advent Children, the movie. Final Fantasy VII the game released for the PlayStation in 1997 and released for the PC in 1998 then a remake was made in, and released for the PlayStation 4 in, t in 2020 and, and then an upgraded version of that remake <coughs> was released in December 2021 for the PC and the PlayStation 5 ok, and, and he is playable here we have uh, his main love interest, Tifa Lockhart Ivand, another member of Cloud's team. Uh, yeah, and then Barrett Valak. Like the first member of the team that we'll get from Fantasy 7. Then we get Tifa and <coughs> yeah, then then I believe we get um, Aerit and uh, after that we get a like uh, mix between a dog and a lion called Red 13. And after that we get Jaffe, which is um, this character, Japanese ninja character. <coughs> and we have Aerith Gainsborough, he's like the third one you get the team. And then we have Sadfair, he's a side character in Final Fantasy VII, but he's in the original game. It's a very minor role, only in flashbacks, but in 2007 they released Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core uh, where Zack is the main char character <coughs> okay and then we have Vincent Valentine he also got his own game Final Fantasy VII Dodge of Cerberus for the Playstation 2 a shooter, third person shooter <coughs> I didn't really like that game it's the only Final Fantasy VII game that I didn't like okay Vincent Valley, I thought the, the story sucked. Okay, he has a good model here too. You can see that they have um, relationships like Cloud Strife loves Tifa Lockhart, Zach Fair loves Eric Gainsborough, Tifa loves Cloud, 
and he doesn't have any love interests in with Barrett. Eric loves uh, Zach Fair. Jaffe loves Vincent. Vincent Valentine uh, loves Jaffe. Okay, we can see there Jabs. So, uh, Vincent Valentine is a lab assistant. <coughs> and uh, Jaffe is a master villain. She's a thief in the game. A very good, highly skilled thief. She used her skills to steal all the material from the team. And we have Aerith, she's a uh, <coughs> guinea pig uh, being experimented on. Yeah, so she has very low status in terms of job. Then we have <coughs> Barrett Valak, he's a smuggler. We have uh, Kid Hyvind, he's an astronaut. Tifa Lockhart. She is like <coughs> a bartender, I would say. And we have Zach Fair, he's an elite soldier. And we have Cloud Strife, he's also an elite soldier. Okay. Then we have like proper relations, interests, and all that. So, uh, if we unpause the game. See that the models look great using the widescreen patcher, and it's possible to play it like this, but we have these graphical errors. We zoom out, we can clearly see that there are graphical errors in moving the mouse. We can't really record much because we are using the NVIDIA Shadow Player recorder to record, so the videos need to be very short, or they will be, become many. We will have to combine them in a movie program like Come the Come on. Uh, If you want to use Pentacam, we need to use a more modern .exe file, like the one created by the widescreen patcher. This is not the one that was created, this is the old one. I just re renamed it into Sims and started the game with the old one. And I still had the better graphics, but it had these bugs, unfortunately, and, and can't use Pentacam. And the widescreen patcher, unfortunately, I can only zoom in this much, so I would be forced to play like this. It's obviously more fun to play like this. Okay, so these characters, <coughs> they're also from uh, 2009, I believe, everyone but Jaffe. Uh, they were created in 2009 and uploaded on a Japanese site for Sims characters. <coughs> they were made after the release of Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core. PSP game released in 2007 and Final Fantasy VII Adventure in the movie released in 2006 or 2007 oh. and Jaffe I believe is from 2006 from a different site a site where they made mostly narrative characters but she's still pretty good in quality there was a better Jaffe model based on Adventure and Jaffe that they could have used but I prefer this one because it's the original one yeah, unfortunately, Tifa didn't have her original model, so I was for forced to use uh, the adventure model oh, based on the movie. There used to be, I believe, a, uh, oh, is uh, me, uh, a model based on the original game, but uh, many of those models have disappeared from the internet. There used to be many Sims 1 sites <coughs> with uh, a lot of custom models. Back in 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, and 2005, but uh, many of them have disappeared from the internet, including uh, like a really good Sephiroth model and a really good original Tifa model. But I believe this one has way better face. The faces were pretty bad. It looked more like this this Jaffe character, um, but uh, worse probably. Uh, but the body is very really good. Okay. Uh, so this is the main team, good team, Final Fantasy VII. We will end the video here, I just wanted to review the characters with a better en um, resolution. Originally I wanted to preview most of the characters <coughs> in, inside of the new engine of Simit 1, but uh, unfortunately I updated the engine and custom models stopped working, so it didn't work. I had uh, ported over a lot of characters. And then I was ready to make videos and then I updated Simit 1 and then nothing worked. Okay, but thank you for watching.